All right, hello everyone. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Uh, this is the Leveraging Google Drive to Benefit Your Business webinar brought to you by the SBDC. Um, just so you know, this webinar is being recorded um, and you will not only receive a link for, uh, with this recording, you will receive the slide deck as well. And at the end, and I'll repeat all this again, but uh, you'll also receive a link to an evaluation. So um, rest assured you will get uh, the slide deck and the recording uh, for you to review or to distribute as you see fit. But again, thank you so much uh, for joining this webinar. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I need to read this disclaimer. So uh, just bear with me as I read through this. Um, this information provided in this webinar and any supplementary materials provided to registrants are intended for educational, informational purposes only and does not constitute professional, financial, or legal advice. No registrant should act or fail to act on the basis of any material contained in this webinar without obtaining proper financial, legal, or other professional advice specific to their situation. The Northern California Small Business Development Center and its hosts the HSU Sponsored Programs Foundation specifically disclaims any liability, loss or risk, personal or otherwise, which is incurred as a consequence directly or indirectly of the use and application of any of the information presented in this webinar. All right, so got that out of the way. Um, <clears throat> again, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to join us. Um, just really quickly about me, you don't have, I'm not going to read all that, but uh, I've been spending over two decades helping uh, small businesses, and my passion is really on IT application. And so this is right up my alley. I, I really uh, liked helping businesses apply uh, emerging or existing technology to help their businesses grow, hence this webinar. Um, so let me cover the agenda. And I did want to say at any point, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the chat. Um, and we'll have a specific Q&A uh, time at the end of this webinar where we'll go through your questions um, or the moderators uh, will flag me. And if it's a, a really a question that maybe is really applicable for the topic, uh, you know, we'll cover it then and there. But go ahead and uh, please uh, feel free to enter any of your questions uh, in the chat box. But today's agenda, uh, I'm going to quickly introduce who we are, the SBDC. Uh, we're going to do an intro to Google Drive. Uh, we'll talk specifically about uh, how Google Drive can benefit you and, and your business. Uh, we'll cover some of the pricing plans, um, and then we'll go over some conclusions and maybe talk about some, some use cases as well. And then we'll wrap it up again, uh, bringing it home, talking about how the SBDC can help you specifically. So quickly, the intro to the SBDC. Um, the SBDC is a nonprofit organization. Um, we provide confidential, no-cost advisory and training services to small businesses. And the biggest challenge I think we have is just getting the word out that, hey, there is uh, the ability to access no-cost advising and training to your small business. Um, so uh, there'll be an information slide at the end of this presentation that talks about uh, how you can get in contact with your local SBDC. Uh, just quickly there, for us, we're in the Northern California uh, region. I understand some of you may be joining from outside the Northern California region, but this is kind of what we've been able to do for our clients. Uh, you can see increased sales. Uh, we help get capital infusion, whether that's loans or grants for our customers. We do one-on-one -on -one consultings. We do trainings such as this, webinars. Um, we do help with funding and we work in partnership with the Small Business Association, the SBA. So let's jump into what Google Drive is. Uh, you know, we're gonna talk about what is it actually and how do you get started? I think everyone knows the name Google um, you know, it's become, you know, slang term. When you want to search for something on the internet, you say, oh, just Google it. Um, and so uh, there's this company that seems to be everywhere and doing everything. And Google Drive is one of their uh, many offerings that are really, it's a really, really powerful, powerful tool. 
So what is Google Drive? Uh, Google Drive is cloud-based file hosting service. And uh, I just wanna talk about what is the cloud because that's probably one of the most uh, unfamiliar terms um, for small businesses or, or just users of Google in general. Uh, but the cloud is the ability to store things remotely in the internet somewhere. Uh, we don't care where it is, obviously, you know, when we're talking about Google Drive, it's Google servers somewhere on this planet. We don't need to know where they are. All we know is it's not local to your own device. It's not local to your own computer. Um, so the cloud, I know there are other um, implementations of the cloud, uh, Apple Cloud, Samsung Cloud. Um, it's all ability to store things in the internet somewhere off your device. And so it's pretty much Google Drive is a file hosting service. You can store files, you can sync files across multiple devices. And it's not just for Google files, it's really for any file. Uh, some people think that you only can use Google files on Google Drive, but you can upload any file and you can distribute that file across multiple devices. And the good thing is it's, it's not just your devices, you can access Google Drive from anywhere as long as you have access to a web browser and the internet. So it's not limited to your phone, it's not limited to your laptop, it can be accessed anywhere you have access to the internet. Um, a little bit of history it was launched in April 2012 and it now has over 1 billion active users and that continues to grow. Um, it hosts trillions of files. And as I said before, it can run on your laptop, it can run on a personal device such as a phone or an iPad, um, and anywhere there's a wild web browser. You know, it can be installed as an app as well. So if you do have a laptop uh, that can install apps or your personal device, your phone, your iPad, you can access Google, Google Drive directly from the app, but you can always get to it from a web browser. Uh, the, the, one of the, the coolest things about Google Drive is they give you 15 gigabytes completely free. That's for your free Google uh, account, 15 gigabytes. Uh, people are like, well, what does that actually mean in terms of storage? Um, and that's what, it's about 30,000 documents. You know, some documents are bigger than others, but your average size documents, that's about 30,000, that's a lot. And about 3,000 photos. Um, so obviously photos, especially if you're getting into high, high quality photos, uh, they're pretty large. So it's only about 3K, but most people use Google Drive, not so much to store their photos, but uh, you can, like I said, you can store any file, but it's more for uh, file sh document sharing. How do you get started with Google Drive? It's really easy. Uh, most everyone has a Gmail address. And so the free Gmail address that you sign up for gives you access to a Google Drive account, and that 15 gigabytes of free storage space. You also get it. Uh, a lot of small businesses nowadays are going with what's called Google Suite. Um, and while that's not in the scope of this webinar, that's kind of Google's uh, business account. Um, and so obviously you get Google Drive with that G Suite account. But most, most businesses, uh, especially small businesses uh, that don't wanna incur the cost of G Suite, um, you know, they set up a free Gmail account for their business and you get Google Drive with that. Um, you can set up multiple Google accounts free and each one will have a Google Drive account uh, free with the 15 gigabytes. Obviously you need something to be able to access the web. So you need, you need a laptop or a computer or a personal device, and you need a web browser. You obviously need access to the internet. And once you have the URL, which is drive.google.com, you are ready to go. Um, it's, it's very easy. And, and later on in this webinar, I'll actually do a live demonstration uh, with my personal Google accounts. So this is what we want to talk about and spend a lot of time talking about is what are the benefits to you and your business? I mean, why should you use this Google Drive account? Well, for one, I want to talk about the features. Um, you know, like I said, you have multiple entry points. Um, if you're working on files, 
because you're uploading your documents to Google Drive, you don't have to worry about necessarily having um, your laptop with you. I know most small business owners travel with their devices, but in the instance where you need to check something online, you don't have to open up your laptop. You can use your device, you can use your phone, um, or you can just go to a web browser. And so its accessibility is one of the most powerful features of Google Drive. Um, I love it where I'll store a lot of things on Google Drive uh, for my personal advising, and I can get it on my phone really quickly. I don't need to open my laptop. Or if I wanted to, I could grab my wife's phone and check it, uh, access my Google Drive account through there. So multiple entry points, I think, is one of the best features of Google Drive. You can access it anywhere you have access to the internet. Um, you can download the files locally. And so work can continue even without the internet. And sometimes, uh, you know, that's what I'll do a lot is I'll download the files so that I don't have to be connected. I don't have to be plugged in and then I can re-upload them to the internet. Um, but that's, that's just one of the features. It's not really uh, one of the core benefits, which we'll talk about in a subsequent file uh, slide. Um, you can share that file with up to 100 people and that's for the free plan. So you're talking about collaboration with your team members. Uh, 100 people is a lot of people. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want that many people, you know, looking in your documents, but with that free plan, you can get up to 100 people and each document you can specify specific rights. You know, some of the rights you can give them are view only, comment only, or editor. And then finally, you can save different views for each file, for each uh, document, and you can save generic views, kind of like your email. You can star documents um, and you have recent view and all, a lot of this will become clear as I do a live presentation. As a powerful search capability. I mean, it's Google, right? Um, I'm sure if I were to take a poll of all the, all the participants, the majority of you use Google um, when you're looking for something on the internet. And so you have that technology and that capability on top of all your files. So it makes it super easy to find and search for files that you have. Um, the powerful search extends beyond just keyword search um, and the titles. It goes into the contents of your document. So, you know, sometimes it's difficult to remember, what did I name that? Well, you can search the contents of your document as well. And the coolest thing is that it has natural language search. So you don't have to even search for content, whether it's your title or your content of your document. You can do something like my example here, find my budget from last year. So Google has this powerful natural language where you can literally almost like Siri or almost like Google Help, you can just kind of type a directive and it will look for things. Find my spreadsheet that I worked on last month. That's a really powerful capability that Google has. Uh, you can back up all the contents of your Google Drive to your local computer. So you can choose which folders, you can choose which files and you can pull all of it down to your computer if for some reason you don't trust the internet or you don't trust Google's ability to back up and keep your content safe, uh, you can have an additional backup right down to your local computer. And Google provides a ton of files. Um, pretty much everything that Microsoft has, Google documents uh, rival. So they have, you know, Word document, they have Google Doc. Uh, Excel spreadsheet, they have Google Sheets. PowerPoint, they have Google Slides. So you have access to create within Google Drive all of these Google documents that you can share, that you can download, um, and that you can search on. One of the coolest things is you can upload files up to five terabytes in size. So to give you kind of a, a grid for how big five terabytes is, that's a 1,901 hour long movie. That's a, that's a considerable uh, size of a file. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Word document or a sheet or a slide 
that big. Um, but Google Drive, even the free one, allows you to upload a file size that big. Now, I would caution you that you might be sitting watching that progress bar scroll for a long time if you try to upload a file um, that large, unless you have a very, very high speed you know, internet, but even that, that's, no one does that. But it's good to know that you have the access and the ability to do that if you needed to. So the biggest reason why I, I recommend uh, small businesses in any business really using Google Drive is uh, pretty much for free, you have the power of Google all for your business. Um, think about Google as, like I talked about, one of the leading tech companies in the world. Um, they're constantly finding new ways to improve how they provide search capability. Uh, they're constantly uh, storing and backing up and distributing their content. And you have all of that power, you have all that capability, of all of that research at the fingers of, at the fingertips of your business, and it's all for free. So that's one of the biggest benefits. Google is a household name. Google Drive, even though it started in 2012, which is relatively recent, I think we all can say we trust it. We know that it's gonna be around. It's a powerful tool. It's something that can be relied on. It's not gonna, disappear. You're not going to wake up one day and type in drive.google.com and, and see a message, a 404, this business is no longer available or Google is no longer in business. Uh, probably, probably a very slim chance that, that that would ever happen, right? So you have all this history, you have all this power, and you have all this wealth of Google all for your business. Uh, one of the biggest benefits, I think, is you have real-time collaboration with your team and people outside your organization as well. And so I'll show you that in the demonstration, but for each file, you can share it with whoever you want. You can share it with your team members, you can share it with people outside the organization, and you can limit access to that uh, file. And that real-time collaboration is one of the most powerful benefits. No longer do you have to email documents back and forth. Uh, no longer do you have to worry, am I sending the latest version? Uh, did I send you what I updated? Um, you don't have to worry about that email lag time. You, up to 100 people can work on the same document at the same time. And so the ability to receive feedback on documents and collaborate with your team is so, so powerful. Even for something simple as, oh, let's have a, a, a leave calendar where we all input our, our leave. You don't have to send a spreadsheet out and hope everyone updates and updates the right version. You have one person entering all the changes and you just have one document on Google Drive that you give all your team members access to. And in real time, they can all be updating the spreadsheet. Uh, and that's just one of the many examples that I've seen small businesses use as something as simple as, hey, let's just keep each other up to date on when we're out of the office. And obviously, as you work on projects together, as you do research, or as, or as you're keeping tabs of to-do lists or things that like what got done today, you're able to all do that real time on Google Drive. I talked about this already, worry-free storage and backup. Hey, it's Google, right? If, if Google were to disappear tomorrow, uh, something would be, <laughs> something that would be a cause of concern much more than just maybe where did my files go, right? So. Um, Google is, is such a solid uh, entity. And so you know that they're backing up, they're storing, um, you're gonna, your files that you put up in the Google Cloud are gonna be secure. Um, <clears throat> and again, like I said, you have the ability to create, share and secure all the Google file types. So you don't need to buy Microsoft Office, um, <clears throat> which is sometimes for a small business can be an expensive purchase. You can, have all access to create these types of documents, the Google files for free. And one of the things that a lot of people don't know about, about Google is they also have Google Forms. And that's a great way to collect and gather info, whether you're reaching out to your customers for a survey, to gather feedback. Uh, Google Forms happens right on Google Drive and all the information can be easily output to a Google Sheet right on Google Drive. So 
you have uh, this kind of hub of documents and collaboration and safe storage. And I think that's one of the, the biggest benefits for your, your business using Google Drive. You can organize your documents and your files all online. Um, and so when we talk about modernizing your business, when we talk about bringing your business forward uh, and making it easier to go through files and find histories and digitizing documents, you can do all that online. You know, I've been with businesses where everything is paper-based and that's great because they're used to that system, but they're like, well, it's hard for me to search. It's hard for me to find documents. It's hard for me to, to see history of a client uh, when all I have is paper receipts or, or paper, paper invoices. Uh, and we go through a digitizing modernization process where we have to scan all those things in. Uh, but Google Drive provides a perfect place now to store those documents because you can scan them and you can or organize them with folders. And then you can put those documents right in those folders. So it's a great way to put it online and it's backed up. Meaning if for some reason you were something were to happen to your storefront or you were to change locations, uh, everything is online and accessible from anywhere. Uh, you can secure your folders and files on a case-by-case -case basis. Like I said, even for people outside your organization. So you have a document you're collaborating on and some people you're like, I'm gonna allow you to edit, but other people, maybe they just need to be aware of what's happening in the document, but I don't wanna give them any capability. And so they have view only or some other people you're like, I don't want you to edit anything. I want you to just provide comments. So there's comment only. And you can do that on a folder by folder, or you could do that on a file by file basis. Two of the biggest benefits for your business is version control of every change. Literally every time you make a change or someone outside you who's collaborating with you on that file makes a change, Google Drive reflects through Google Documents, the Google Documents, they reflect every single change, who made it and what change was made. So you're able to track all the changes. And I think that's necessary if you have multiple people collaborating in the same document, you can kind of see what changes were made when. And you're able to roll back to a previous version. So for some reason you overwrote something or someone made a change they weren't supposed to or a lot happened, you can actually choose a specific version and you can roll back and make that the current version. The great thing about when you do that is you actually don't lose any of the changes that were made. So you can roll back, you can roll forward. You don't lose any of the changes that were made, but you're able to choose which version you want to be the current version. And I think that's, that's pretty powerful. Finally, it's free. Uh, you can pay for more and we'll cover some pricing plans, but the free version is pretty powerful. Um, if, you, if 15 gigabytes is enough for your organization, it's, it's, more than, um, it's more than enough for most small businesses. You can go with the free version and it's just as every bit as powerful and capable. The price tiers are more about storage capability. All right. The one thing I do need to highlight that is an issue is a privacy policy. Google clearly states that Google has the full right to reproduce, use, and create derivative work from any content stored on Google Drive. So you're talking about intellectual property here. Um, it's something that I would not recommend you putting very, very valuable intellectual property on, um, but it, it's, everyone should realize that Google has um, this right. It's blatant in their privacy policy. So uh, you, you kind of go use Google Drive knowing that they're gonna have the ability to use and create derivative work. Um, for most small businesses that aren't creating patents or any intellectual property space, this is not an issue. Uh, for research and development firms that are generating patents and doing R&D, um, Google Drive is probably not where you want to store that high of intellectual property assets. 
but everyone should be aware. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how often they've done it or if they've ever done it, or if it's just a very generic blanket uh, privacy policy, but it's something that small business owners should be aware of. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop sharing my presentation and we're gonna jump into the actual demonstration of Google Drive. So here, um, I have actually two accounts pulled up. So one is my personal and one is associated with uh, a business I'm involved with. But when you first go to Google Drive, this is kind of your dashboard. And so I'm kind of kind of walk through. So I have nothing actually stored under this account. Um, my personal here, you can see I have some files, I have some folders. Um, but let's start from the left-hand side. Here is where you can create new Google-specific files. So if I were to click on new, you can create, well, it's more than just creating new documents. Here's where you can upload a file. You can upload an entire folder. So let's say you have a folder on your local machine. And instead of having to select, go into that folder and select all of them, you can actually choose this and you can choose uh, a folder that you want to upload and all the contents of that folder will be uploaded. Obviously, if you want to do an individual file, you pull up your browser, your file browser, and you can select a file to upload. Uh, but here you have access to all the Google specific documents that you can create and store on Google Drive. Um, so you can obviously create a blank or from a template. And these are the most common ones, Google document, sheet, slides, and forms. But Google has also other file type documents that you can create and store on Google Drive. Uh, My Maps, Drawings, Jamboard, Scripts, um, and there are more third-party apps that you can connect. Um, but the most common for small businesses are Google Sheets, Slides, and, and Docs. And you just click it and you create that document and that document is stored now on, on Google Drive. Um, for each document, you can uh, select and create a priority. And so priority here, you can see your most important files you can tag. And remember I talked about having specific views within Google Drive. So the ones that you access the most, you can tag as priority. Um, and then you also have these really great views, which I love. Recent, so recent brings up everything that you've recently opened or edited. So it's really helpful. So especially you have complex folder structures, you don't have to go hunting for that document. Uh, you just click your recent. This is what I use the most. What did I work on recently? And then for your favorite files, you can star them and they'll appear here. Um, and then you can also see your trash document. You can see last week I created the document and I put it in the trash and, and here it is. Um, and it's deleted after 30 days or you can empty it immediately. Um, so let's go ahead and let's create a folder and let's call it Google Drive example. And here's my drive with this folder. And if we go in this folder, um, let's actually title this document file. And you can see that last edit was seconds ago. Um, if I click on that, here you have um, it, the history. But now that document is here, my Google document, the one that I just created. If you right click on this, this is how you get to the collaboration. You can choose to share it with someone. Um, you can add a shortcut, you can move it, you can star it. So here, if I start that, now that document is here. Obviously I just worked on it, so it's in my recents as well. But let me show you the, the power of collaboration. So I don't need to actually open it, I can just click share. And here you can enter uh, the information of anyone that you wanna share it with. So for me, uh, let me just put my personal.
And you can choose, do I want to let this guy, Brian Ream, edit, comment, or just view, and you can send a message as well. And they'll receive a message that says, hey, here's a document. Now you can add people outside. They don't have to have a Gmail account. You can add, or your domain account, if you're you know, using Google for your website, um, you can actually add people outside your organization. It doesn't matter um, whether or not they're in your organization or not. So I'm gonna share it. And that's why it says share with people outside your organization. Share anyway. And now when I go to share it with me, there's that document. And as you can see, here's my personal account. Um, sorry, these are all the, my son plays travel baseball and we take videos, so. Um, that's the Google document. And so uh, it's very easy to share with multiple people. Here I'm back in my other account. And so you can, this is how you collaborate with people is you add multiple people uh, to the document right here. You can change their access and you can add for the free account up to a hundred people. And that's super powerful. Um, you might think, well, that's a little intimidating if I have 10 people on in one document, how do I know what's happening? Again, that's where the version control happens where you're able to see uh, the changes and who actually made that change. The search is extremely powerful. You can search, um, they already give you some pre-filters. So you know you're looking for a spreadsheet. And so you can narrow it down in your spreadsheet. Um, you have search options um, as well to go onto a much more robust or search capability. Um, and here has the words who you shared it to um, but the keyword search here is extremely, extremely powerful. And Google pre-automates, autofills the document for you. So um, if I begin to put in the words, it already knows what's in your Google Drive and it brings up anything that could potentially match your search. So obviously in this example, I have one file. But imagine if you had a thousand files on your Google Drive. Uh, search becomes the most beneficial way to pull up documents, uh, whether it's budgets or you, know, you have spreadsheets and financials or you have contracts or employment letters or, or templates that you wanna use on a continuous basis, but you have multiple of them. Um, I rarely, uh, I'll go into recent and I'll use search. And those are usually the ways that I specifically use uh, Google Drive. Um, obviously, I have zero bytes used. Let's look at my personal. I have 11.11, 75%. And I have a ton of videos on here. Um, in my recent view, you know, it's all the things that I've kind of worked on uh, recently personally. That's just my personal account. Uh, finalizing um, what we have up here. You can see uh, kind of the details on a file by file basis. Uh, you can change your settings for your Google Drive. Um, and there's just a lot of uh, ways that you can make this just what you want it to be. Um, I think getting started, the best way is to just open up your Drive account and start creating documents and start sharing them outside your orbit with, with other people. And that's the best way to get up to speed on Google Drive. Like I said, even if it's not a Google Drive document, let's just use, uh, let's just upload a file here. And this is a, a PDF. You can still do all the same things. You can share that document or that image or that file with people, get links, um, is another way just to share it. You can copy the link and you can email it to someone um, that they can open as well. Um, I really use that because I usually just use the share um, ability. 
uh, but that's a, a way if you need to share it to a public public audience and you don't want to type in 100 emails you can generate a link and then you can choose what they can do uh, with that link or you can choose who has access based off of um, that link so that's just another way to share um, the document i think anything else i want uh, obviously you can make a copy and you can download uh, the file to your local drive as well. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my deck. Uh, let's quickly talk about pricing plans. Um, like I said, 15 gigabytes is free. Uh, now, 15 gigabytes for your organization, let's say you, your, your business is videos or images or just really uh, high file, uh, you know, their file count is just ridiculous or you have files that are uh, just take up a lot of data uh, and you need to upgrade. You can see here click, uh, clearly what their pricing plans is. So it's a pretty considerable jump. Uh, you can't go from 15 to 20. Uh, you're going to go from 15 to 100. But when you look at the pricing plan, it's, it's very affordable. Uh, 199 on a month to month basis, or you can pay for the full year in advance. And that happens from 100 to 200, all the way up to two terabytes. So, um, that space is, and it, and it goes up uh, from there increasing, increasingly. Um, there is another tier with Google Suite, G Suite, um, and you know there are higher levels if you need uh, upward of five terabyte because you can upload a file that's five terabytes big, um, like I said before. And so obviously there are plans uh, for 50 terabytes, 100 terabytes, but I don't think that's in the realm of uh, any small business that I'm aware of. Um, I do know several small businesses that get the 100 gigabyte and um, it gives them access to Google experts. Uh, you can have up to five people that can access that. So you're, you're, you're sharing that cost um, among those five different people. And so it's, it's a very affordable way to really increase your storage space from 15 to 100. Um, you don't have to write these down because you will get this deck, uh, but I wanted to include uh, some really helpful links. Um, there's a great YouTube video about Google Help and Drive, um, and then the two links on getting started with uh, Google Drive and how to use it. Uh, the support.google.com website is a great support um, resource, just in general, not only just for Google Drive, but for all Google products. Um, I really recommend going there. Uh, they really keep that content up to date and, and fresh, and people are constantly monitoring uh, that website. All right, and before I open it up for question and answering, um, I did want to just close out this time talking about how the SBDC can help you. Um, like I said, we are the Shasta Cascade Center and we cover Shasta and Trinity County. But even if you're not in our county or even in Northern California, there is a local SBDC near you. And uh, if you don't know how to find that, you can reach out to us and we'd be more than happy to find out who is your local, or you could go to the website americasspdc.org and put in your zip code and your local SPDC center will come up. Uh, but what we, what we help is with registrations and certifications. We help with applications. Obviously we provide advising. Um, we do webinars and training. Uh, we're closely tied with the WBC, the Women's Business Centers. And we also provide language translation services. And obviously, when I talk about applications, that's for loans, that's for grants. Um, 
and we have a lot of experts. So, you know, we have people that are really focused on uh, capital infusion. We have people focused on marketing. Uh, people specialize in their business expertise. And so generally from taking your business from concept to starting it, to helping it grow and become optimized and get grants, the SBDC always has someone that can help you along your journey, you know, especially with, with COVID and all the pivoting that had to happen. Uh, that was an area where we were able to help a lot of businesses with a receive capital infusion or help them pivot uh, during the pandemic. And the last slide will have uh, this contact information. Um, and so this is a way to get in contact with us for our region. But even if you don't know how to get in contact with your local SBDC, go ahead and reach out to us. And uh, we'll be more than happy to help you find the SBDC uh, that is closest to you. Um, go ahead and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and YouTube, uh, our YouTube channel. Um, we apologize for that long URL, but uh, it has a lot of the webinars. Um, and so you can go on there and pick and choose the webinar that you want to watch. And our Facebook, uh, our social media sites usually have when the next coming events are occurring. Uh, so go ahead and follow us on those. Uh, platforms and reach out to us with any questions. So that being said, uh, we're going to open it up now to question and answer. Um, I see we have some questions in the chat. Um, and so I'll start with the first one. What is the pros and cons between using Google Drive via the browser and the app? Uh, Kim, thank you for that question. There really is no pro and con. It's really a uh, comfort level. The app um, provides everything that you can do, all the capability, all the features, all the functionality. Um, you're not limited to a smaller size of data because you're on your phone, because everything is stored on the cloud. Um, most people, though, if they want to download files from Google Drive to their local device, you know, they prefer to maybe do that on the laptop instead of the phone, but there is no pro and con. It's really what you're most comfortable with. I think that's uh, really, again, one of the benefits is that you have multiple points of entry. You can come in from the app or use a web browser. So it's the same feature set. Obviously, when you're on the website, it's more screen real estate. You can see more. Um, and so uh, when, when, when out at a computer, I always prefer to go in via the web browser. Um, I have an app that you can, you, there is an app that you can download for you know, Windows or, or Mac OS X, but I still just prefer to use uh, the browser. I think I'm just a creature of habit. Uh, so hopefully that answers that question. Um, I kind of talked about the privacy policy. Uh, Jeanette, thank you for your question. Um, the privacy policy is that Google has the right to uh, do derivative work um, and duplicate uh, some of the content that you have. So being aware of that privacy policy and how it impacts what you choose to put on Google Drive is very important. Um, I've never seen any issue. I mean, it's kind of, it might be one of those things where it's just out there because you know they wanna cover all the bases, but they, they don't do anything with it. Um, but because of the search capability of Google, they are literally going through all your documents for the sake of indexing it to make their search more powerful. So they have access to the content. Um, that's kind of how you're able to use that search function so effectively. So they are going through their, their scanning, they're indexing your content. So it's something to be aware of. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend putting something uh, that has high intellectual pr property value to your organization. Um, as far as security, it's it's secure. It's Google, right? So um, apart from obviously Google having access to your information, um, the, the security of your documents is, is very secure, except for the ones you choose to share your documents with. So obviously, if you provide a link 
and you broadcast that link to your document and everyone with that link has access to that file, that link can be distributed. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's as secure as what you make it. So if you have a document that you only want for to be viewed by a certain group of people, that's when you want to specifically share it with only those people and then give them the appropriate access. Uh, granted, they could give someone their account information and they could access. I mean, that's stuff that's out of our control and that's stuff that's out of the uh, control of the technology, but it's extremely secure. And the thing I really like about Google Drive is you pick and choose who has access and what access they have to a specific file. So the, the, as you saw from the pricing plan, the only thing the pricing affects is the size of what you have access to. All the features, search, security, share, it's all the same regardless of whether it's free or that you have a paid version. Going along, we have a message from Michelle. Um, you have uh, the contact information here on this screen. I'm probably covering it up. <laughs> um, so feel free to reach out. Emily can uh, get you my direct contact information. I'd be happy to help you. Um, uh, Google is making itself uh, the premier tech resource for people who are claim, who claim themselves to be tech clueless. Um, uh, and Michelle, you're on this webinar, so I wouldn't say you're tech clueless. You somehow got here, you signed up, and you are on this webinar. So you're, you're doing better than a lot of other people. Uh, but Google actually provides, prides itself on making uh, their robust technology tech friendly and so that's why everything is simple that's why they have a powerful search you get on there and you're like oh shoot i created a whole bunch of folders i don't know where anything is use your search or man i know i worked on this recently i don't remember where it was use a recent recents view so they really make things um, they're trying to make things as accessible to a wide variety and not just for tech savvy uh, they're trying to make it as accessible to everyone. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that, Michelle. I guarantee you, if you just get out there and start using it, you'll be an expert in, in no time. Um, Cam, another question. How can you find out which Google account does a particular Google Drive or associated with? So that is uh, what I had shared before. Um, let me share my Google Drive here. On this plane, you are able to see what Google account you're associated with. So you can scroll down and you can choose an account, uh, but this is the one that that Google Drive. So if you have multiple accounts like Google Drive accounts like me, um, that's how you can toggle back and forth between that account. Um, let's see. Can you also touch on share drives? Um, share drives, I'm not sure exactly what that question is. Oh, here, share drive. So that's a place, if you add things to a share drive, that's just another way to have um, a space where instead of having to share with members of your team, you put it all in your shared drive and uh, you create that kind of um, access and any file that you put in there automatically gives full access to everyone that's, that you give access to. So it's just a, another shortcut of creating a space where members automatically have access to files and folders. One of the cool things is if you create a folder that's not a shared drive and you give people access, every document that you create in that folder can inherit the sharing properties of the folder, but you have the choice. So when you, when you duplicate a file, for instance, 
So let me actually show that. I think that's a good example. Let's, let's duplicate this. Make a copy. Uh, I didn't duplicate it, I just made a copy. So let's duplicate it. Let's duplicate. There is a way to, oh, I'm not seeing it. Well, I mean, the, the, the nice thing is when you create a document within that folder, it will automatically inherit the properties and you have the ability to say, hey, do you want to have this file inherit the same sharing properties of the folder? And you can say yes or no. But share drives is that place for collaboration. So you don't have to answer that question. You don't have to constantly add people uh, who are part of your team. You just drop files into your share drive and the people who have access to that share drive automatically have full access um, to that folder. Um, sorry, I wasn't sharing. Let me share the screen. Um, so here, share drive, as you can see, it's a place where you can store and collaborate on files. So you can create any name and I can choose to add members to the share drive and who just like sharing a file and whatever files I drop in here, whoever I add to my share drive has access to that document. Sorry, I didn't realize I was not sharing my screen. Um, are there any other questions? So as uh, David just put in the chat, um, there's a short evaluation survey. If you could please take the time to fill that out. Um, your feedback is extremely important to us <clears throat> as we just wanna con continually improve the topics that we cover with webinars as well as the manner that we uh, cover with webinars. So if you could please take that, we take that very seriously. Um, again, our goal is to really provide and cover the topics that you, the small business owner, um, really are interested in. Um, granted, we have a really extensive library on our YouTube channel. So go whenever you have a question about, oh, I wonder how to do this, um, you know, check that check that YouTube channel. Uh, more than likely, we've covered that topic. Uh, but feel free to fill out that survey and let us know. Let us know what are the topics that you need. Uh, you know, with COVID and the pandemic, a lot of businesses, we had to shift. And now as we come out of that, um, there are always topics that are like, man, I, I never knew how to do this. And now I need to learn how to do that. So that's the purpose of this webinar. These webinars is to really give you guys uh, kind of a free touch point of uh, some of the things that we think that would really be beneficial to you as small business owners. Again, um, we are really uh, thankful that you guys chose to join us. Um, you will receive the, uh, the copy of the slide deck, the whole slide deck, as well as a link to the recording. Um, so I see some comments. Can you share the last slide? You'll get the full slide deck. So no worries about that. Um, thank you again. If there are any questions, we're going to go ahead and close this webinar. Um, have an amazing day and take care. Stay safe.